stage right now. Please welcome from across the bay, St. Pete, Hawk and Wayne! Right into the camera. <laughs> into the camera. Yep. Uh, my name is uh, Chip Walter, and I am a professional uh, Lincoln Log player. <laughs> um, I have been a professional Lincoln Log player for well, all pretty much, pretty much all of my life. Um, what else? Uh, what does that mean? I don't know. Uh, basically, what we do, uh, our, our format is, uh, is simple. We get together and uh, we'll, we'll build things, uh, uh, large houses, uh, uh, iconic figures, uh, people, uh, I mean, anything. And if you've, if you've never built anything that's uh, actually organic, uh, out of a Lincoln log, which is something that is inorganic, meaning to say it's, it's made of wood, granted. But what we do is we take something that is not meant to, to look organic, and we'll, we'll build something out of it. And we'll get together, you know, we'll just, you know, just get together and build things, uh, and just laugh, uh, laugh and laugh. <laughs> Am I on? Do I start now? Uh, yes, uh, my name is Milton Frank. Uh, I am uh, the, uh, the president of the uh, Lincoln Long Players Association. Uh, Lincoln Loggery has it's really grown in the past uh, several years. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, we like to think of ourselves as elevated, uh, beyond the Legos, uh, <laughs> uh, beyond the Tinker Toys. Uh, you know, there, there are factions, certainly, uh, but uh, the best among us, the best among us are creating worlds. <laughs> worlds in which we can live, you know, uh, and escape our lives with mother. <laughs> Western Hemisphere? James. No, just James. I don't have a last name. <laughs> My publicist said it'd be better if I just had one name, you know, like Cher, Madonna type thing. So, so uh, what do I build? You name it. I can pretty much build anything. Uh, name something right now, I'll build it. <laughs> Fine, no problem. <laughs> Done. <laughs> City of Pittsburgh. <laughs> uh, yeah, there are factions. There are people that don't believe in what we do, and to them I say, go fuck yourselves. Because <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something right now. I know what I can do. All right. You step out on that stage and you build something for somebody, and six hours later, yeah, people may have left. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? And I'm laughing because I don't give a fuck. That's how, that's how I am, you know? Look out into the sea of emptiness. I keep building. One night, I was in a little small theater in Poughkeepsie. They're like, we need you to wrap it up. I said, no, I'm not done building this. Bust the share. <laughs> yeah, yeah, James definitely uh, changed the game. Uh, <laughs> you know, he was building things out of actual full-size locks. Uh, uh, literally, mausoleums. Uh, uh, <laughs> unbelievable structures, and then he would live in them, and then you know, he would burn 
burn them down. Uh, which is problematic for the community, essentially. Uh, but, uh, but, you know, we need pioneers. We need guys like that, you know, really. But, um, you know, honestly, if you, if you really want to uh, really delve into this, we gotta, we gotta go back to the beginning, you know, like uh, when Lincoln Logs were created and their original vision, you know. Uh, uh, Dave Lincoln uh, <laughs> you know, met with his brother Silas Lincoln, and uh, together they started brainstorming. Silas! Yeah? Silas, come down to the parlor! All right, I'll be right down! <laughs> Brother, 
uh, <clears throat> going to toy stores at first uh, to sell the product to uh, a local uh, mom and pop type of uh, places. Oh. Hello. Hello. How can I help you today? Well, I've got a product for you. Uh, what are you, uh, some kind of fruit fly or something talking like that? Uh, no, I'm English. Oh, you're English. Okay. What can I help you with, sir? Well, it's, an, it's an actual country. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what can I help you with, sir? <laughs> a whole bunch of us. And yeah, yeah. I bet there is a whole bunch of you out there in some house somewhere, a beach house, no, no, no. listening to a bunch of music, rubbing oil all over each other. No, we're not hippies. <laughs> Gabbing about each other's, you know, that thing, and doing all kinds of getting crazy and discovering that maybe life is worth living if you're just free to be who you are. Yeah, I'm told that first initial uh, meeting was uh, pretty much the beginning of Lincoln Loggery. Uh, I would have given any—I would have given anything to been there for that first meeting. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and basically, you keep stacking it, see, and until eventually it becomes a structure of some sort. Uh, you see it. Why? <laughs> because it's fun, you know, it's, it's enjoyable. <laughs> it's fun? Use your imagination, you see. Yeah, 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 I bet it's fun. Sir, this is a toy store, not a fun store. <laughs> hey, we, we sell toys. Read the sign. We sell toys for serious people that are looking to have some toys. <laughs> Very long sign. That's my motto. I was gonna name that. That's your motto? Yeah. <laughs> we sell toys for pe you know. What is, it? It? <laughs> <laughs> is it the royal we? What? <laughs> you say we. We sell toys, but you're saying that's your personal motto. <laughs> Are you the royal we? Is that the way you're using that phrase? Okay, look, uh... Forget it, forget it! I don't speak all your hyper gobbledygook. I'm from England, look at me, I do this with my torso, and I think I'm okay, yes. everybody else. Yes. Many of us do that, yes. <laughs> look, you said not fun, right? It could be not fun. It could How be, could that be not fun? It could be incredibly not fun. Uh, I mean, I can see how it could be not fun, but I want you to tell me. Well, look, we, we have several colors, colors here, right? Uh, what if we just didn't have colors at all? What if it was just brown? <laughs> <laughs> it came in a cylinder can, you know, it just, um, no Go friends. on! <laughs> uh, parents who are very angry with their children could give it to them for Christmas, you see. <laughs>
you know, now they're running around, they got TV shows, and they're talking about uh, getting married, and <laughs> talking about, uh, <laughs> talking about uh, what it's like to be married. And, uh, get, <laughs> Lincoln Lottery, that's what they call it, but uh, uh, they didn't buy patent, so I took it from them, and uh, that's what I do. Uh, now I live in this mansion, and uh, well, they made a movie about me called There Will Be Blood. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright issues, they had to change the Lincoln logs to make it be about oil. <laughs> we brought me back 40 units, but uh, it took them three and a half years. <laughs> okay, man, uh, there you go. 40 units, uh, whittled them from hand for you. I stole your idea, <laughs> dummy. <laughs> what? I stole it. <laughs> you stole my idea? Yep. I stole it real good. <laughs> I bet you you did, you son of a bitch. Why are you taking on my accent? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in such a fuss, I am not entirely sure what the hell is going on right now. I've been back here whittling for three and a half, nine years. In the back country? No, no in the back of your goddamn living room. That is the back country, dummy. Oh, well, shit. Tell me that. This is Kentucky. I know where I am. Do you? <laughs> of course I do. I was born and raised here. Well, good. All I know is some English fussy came up to me and said, <laughs> we want you to whittle 40 of these boxes of these sticks with little notches in them. And I said, okay. I thought you had something to do with that, Queen Bee. to give in to you. Uh, that's what we do, you know, that's what Char the Charles does. <laughs> now you're probably wondering at this point, uh, oh by the way, uh, yes, yeah, uh, uh, I'm Dallas Sherbert. Um, uh, I'm a historian for uh, Le Um uh, And you're wondering probably, uh, you know, how do they uh, shift this into games, you know? How is Lincoln Logs a game? <laughs> <laughs> he said that? Nobody really knows? Let me tell you how it's a game. <laughs> a mind game. Okay? When you are, have some kind of a wood, <laughs> you're using these things and you're using this. And these things start talking to this. And this starts talking to these things, okay? You start making shit. Magic starts to happen, okay? And that's what the Charles does. Right now, my, this is talking to this right now, and I want to make something, that's what I do. Yeah, 
really, I mean, they were getting metaphysical here, you know? Um, uh, you know, they, they, they were literally asking the question, what is a game? <laughs> what is a game, you know? Like, um, uh, Magic the Gathering, right? Is that a game? It is? Okay, great. All right, great, it is. <laughs> I don't know, I've played it. It's really weird to me. Uh, uh, no, I mean, you know, you could, uh, I suppose you could call it a game in that sense that uh, it's the game of life, you know, the game of acquisition. Um, you know, and eventually just knife fights were breaking out at conventions, uh, people stabbing each other over Lincoln Logs. Uh, collecting them, collector's items, uh, first edition, second editions, you know, and it was really about uh, acquiring property, you know. I was at a convention uh, maybe six years ago, and uh, I got a knife here, I got a knife here, here, cut here, that was over a first edition, I'm proud of that one there. <laughs> here, here, Achilles. Slice right, just slice right in two there. Here, groin. Here and here. And here on my foot. You know, I've got battle scars. That's what, that's what uh, the art form does to you. That's what it does to you. So if you can't play with the big boys, you're not willing to get a little cut. And I'm not just saying splinters. Those happen too. <laughs> I have no fingerprints. Okay, I go into a police station, which happens often. <laughs> no fingerprints. That's because the splinters over the years from building Lincoln Logs. That's what happens. I got cut here, <laughs> sliced here, all the way across here. <laughs> This looks like my jawline, but it's not. This is actually a scar. Yeah, I'm flipping you off. So what? That's that's what it does. If you really want to be fascinated, uh, what you guys should do is, you know, go, to, go down to the convention floor and just watch, you know, like a, a training session, really. <laughs> Engage in a trade. <laughs> okay. Let's Fine. Commence trading. Okay. What you got? I prefer a short half jig. <laughs> short half jig, huh? Second generation oak. <laughs> Has an oaky scent. <laughs> All right. What I have here is a triple jig sycamore. <laughs> <laughs> First generation, uncolored, hand whittled, pre man, you that. Sure. Boom. Well played. I have a roof structure, simple thatch, pre first generation, baby generation, zero generation. <laughs> Handmade by Aboriginal babies. <laughs> I have a first edition Lincoln Lottery comic book signed by the author. Who is Mr. Lincoln? <laughs> Wait. Oh yeah, before he died. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have the last set that Silas ever made. After he went crazy. Yes, after he went crazy. <laughs> you can see it's all just jagged lines. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't even know how this could ever fit together. But the person who can build this I will come. 
and just the slightest bit, just, just the slightest little bit came out, and we both just uh, held each other and we cried. <laughs> because we knew that uh, we were never going to have anything like that ever again. <laughs> Yes, yes, Toy Man. 